What's good? We back with the Boxing Clinic of Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. Usual suspect, one time for the one time, y'all know what it is. Um, grinding as usual. You know, there's two scenarios going out there for uh, Gennady Golovkin. One is that, um, one has just emerged. We'll talk about the latter. Uh, Frank Warren said that, you know, they have gauged talks with K2, Tom Laughlin, and Triple G about Billy Joe Saunders and Triple G fighting. But the catch is that, you know, Martin Mur I mean, excuse me, uh, the kid, uh, Billy Joe Saunders' hand won't be uh, healed in time for May 5th. So they want to push the fight back to sometime in June. And then um, they want to do it then. But Gennady Golovkin team might be prone to going forward with the May 5th date. Which, honestly, I don't, you know, with the opponent that's going to step in May 5th and have confirmed they're going to step in May 5th. And I'll link all this information in the description. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Not for the $70 price tag that they're trying to push. And even Billy Joe Saunders and Triple G for $70 price tag, they was going to push it wasn't going to work. So, you know, Frank Warren, I'm going to link an article in the description as well, is hoping that, you know, they cancel the May 5th date just because uh, they won't get a good opponent in, opponent in there. They're still trying to push the $70 pay-per-view. And, you know, the tickets won't sell. People going to get refunds. Then they downsize an arena from T-Mobile that hold 20 grand to the 16 grand MGM Grand Garden uh, Casino Resorts, whatever it is. So he's banking on, you know, they pull out the fight entirely and stop trying to throw a fight together and still charge motherfuckers all that money when they could just move the fight back a, a month. He said we can, you know, the Billy Joe Saunders uh, and Triple G fight can happen over in the States or it can happen in the UK, wherever they wanted to, and I guess. They're going to put Martin Murray on the back burners, you know? So, you know, they'll probably find a place for him on the card. He'll probably be compensated uh, nicely. So uh, that's what they want to do, you know? And I think that's the best scenario, in my opinion. It's better than, than the other scenario they're going. Obviously, people say, Andra, Andra, Andra don't deserve to cut the line, bro. He got he to gotta fight. He got to fight those fights that everybody else fought, at least one or two of them, to get his name back in circulation. He's trying to cherry pick. You know, he could have fought Billy Joe Saunders and talked about it, went after him. He said he wasn't ready for Billy Joe Saunders. All of a sudden, you ready for Triple G. He a clown, man. He a clown. Nobody ain't paying that clown-ass motherfucking no attention, man. So, but I would like to see him get it over the guy that, that we're going to talk about in a minute that got the fight. But at the end of the day, um, I think that's that's the right thing to do. You know, even without Billy Joe Saunders, I think it's right for, you know, HBO, K2, Triple G to push this fight off. Even a regular HBO at the dark. Wouldn't do it, it'll do better than the pay per view, but if they still want to keep that $70 pay per view price tag for for a bum opponent, man, no, hell no, nah. you know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit, in my opinion. But, um, this is the guy that already said he agreed to turn. Well, they talking, and he and he already let everybody know that you know he's been in, in talks to fight Gennady Golovkin and this Gary Spike O'Sullivan, the same Gary Spike O'Sullivan that beat Antoine Douglas and quit versus uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. way back when. Um, you know, he says he he been in talks. They said it been strong rumors we've been talking about before that he's the guy that's going that's going to um, that's going to step in. You know, that's the guy they want to step in. He's still promoted by Golden Boy. He turned on an offer to fight Denny Jacobs April twenty eighth. Um, like I say, promoted by Golden Boy, so Golden Boy still had creative control over this fight. They still get Ryan Garcia on there and make it all Mexican card. But uh, a Kazakhstan guy versus an Irishman, nobody wants to see that on May fifth. Especially the Irishman can't fucking fight for real. He ain't on that level. So, I mean, shit, they talked about, you know, it's a whole bunch of bums that can just walk in here, man, and, and get this fight. But, um, you know, like I said, if it's Gary Spike O'Sullivan or anybody of that caliber or less, I think, honestly, it's time to it's time to just scrap the fight and just do the unification undisputed class in June. You know, it's too much on everybody mental, you know, about this fight. Like I said, this fight with Triple G and Canelo, when they rematch it, Later this year in uh in September, if Billy Joe, you know, don't beat Triple G, if that fight was to happen, or if he don't lose May 5th versus whoever the fuck you fighting Triple G, which it looks like it's gonna be Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Um, that rematch with all this this promo and publicity gonna make that rematch just you know way bigger than the first one. It might not translate into to numbers so much, but it's gonna translate into to, you know, promo and word of mouth. So but at the same time, nobody wants to see Gary Spike O'Sullivan for seventy bucks. I mean, I wanna see the clown you know, anybody out there know somebody, or I ain't going to call you a clown, well, that would justify paying 70 bucks for Gary Spike O'Sullivan versus Triple G. Anybody out there, just justify that for me. You know, the undercard not going to be stacked. It's going to be some bullshit. And I don't see how people paying $70 or $50, 60 for Matisse versus Pacquiao. Hell no. Nah. 
you're some gullible ass fans. And anytime you got a supply and demand, and you got somebody that that demands it and that wants it, they gonna keep doing fugazi shit like that, man. Save your money, homie. Don't be buying these bullshit ass fights. You know, if you're gonna buy a pay per view fight, make sure it's a good fight. Top fight. Gary Spike O'Sullivan ain't got no fucking chance, man. You know, I'd rather them just hold back and do the tri- do the Billy Joe sign of Triple G undisputed thing. But what we learned is that K2 and Triple G camp, Abel Sanchez, they they dumb. They don't make the right business decision move. They make this the wrong moves. If it's, you tell them to go right, they're going to go left. So I will count on them keeping that May 5th day and it flop in big drama show face. We gone.